time right now with the water crisis situation. But when I left Flint Northwestern Academy over five years ago, and I got a phone call from the principal of that school telling me what one of her students did when I walked out of the building, I said, man, you know what, if that can happen right here in Flint, why not anywhere? That was right, because it's happened in places I've been to around the country as well. Places such as Portland, Oregon, Cleveland, Ohio, East Chester, New York, smaller towns in our country like Aurora, Nebraska, Shelby, North Carolina, and Stuttgart, Arkansas. But Hill McCoy students, I got news for all of you. I'm not the reason why all that stuff is happening. I'm not the reason why all those great changes and all those great things are happening in those town cities and states. I'm not that reason why. Let me show all of you who the real reason for the change around not only your entire school is going to be, but around your entire town and community from here on out. And that change is you. Give me a 30 second time out of you. Hold on. Ladies, what's up? Do me a favor. This young man right in front of you, give him your phone so he can give it to me. Yeah, give him, give him the phone. Come on. In the pink sweatshirt. Ah, there it is. Give him the phone. Give it to me. Come on. Why? I'll tell you why. Here's why. Because for the past half hour, I've been living over here the whole time, and you've been out the whole time taking selfies, goofing around, and laughing. So, hey, hey, worry about your own business, guys. I got this. All right. So, ladies, here's the deal. Here's the deal. What you guys do in the hallways? I don't care because here's why. That's your guys' free time. Your free time to mess around, take selfies on your phone, talk amongst each other, because that's your free time. But do me a favor, be smart with what you do in the hallways because I don't want you ending up in those guys' office for doing stupid stuff, all right? Second of all, when you're in a classroom, you want one person's time and one person's only, and that's their time, the teacher's time, because that's their time to teach you, you learn, study, be a better person. Third, when you have an assembly, and you have a presenter, a presenter who's traveled a long way away to be here, a presenter who knows what the heck he's talking about. You want one person's time and one person's only, and that's mine. I got the microphone, not you guys. And the last time I checked, I didn't come here to teach you guys about disrespect. I came here to preach about respect, and I really don't appreciate how the last half hour you two have been on your phones. So if you're not gonna hand over the phone to me, well guess what? Mr. Grant, come on now, sir. Come on now, sir. Pink sweatshirt, black sweatshirt right here. Why you guys? It starts with all of you. 
Because you're the ones that changed somebody's day from bad to great. You're the ones that changed somebody's life from terrible to incredible. And this last one, I promise to guarantee forever, you guys will be the number one reason why you save somebody's life. Because I can't even begin to describe and tell all of you how many days I go home, how many days I go to work, and I actually have to read, watch, and hear stories about kids, and even younger kids, taking their own lives because of bullies and their acts. I got news for all of you. I'm done with those stories. I'm sick of those stories. And I can guarantee you there's at least one of you sitting in this room that are sick of hearing and seeing those exact same stories as I am. But you know what, you guys? You can stop that, prevent that from ever even happening in your town or in your school. Because let me tell you how far one little change goes in your entire lifetime. That one little change is going to start right here in your school. Then it's going to go to your entire town and community. Then it's going to go to our state. It can go to our country. And last but not least, you guys, that one tiny little change can go to the world, because that is how far, Helmut Boy students, one little difference, one little inspiration, and one little change will go in your entire lifetime. So Helmut Boy students, how about you guys go out and do all that today? When you walk out those doors here in a minute, how about each of you all go out and you be the change? More importantly, Hill McCoy High School students, when you walk out those doors here in a minute, how about each of you all go out and make that change? On a final note, here's the deal. Hill McCoy students, I don't care what streets you guys live on, I don't. I don't care what neighborhoods you guys live in, I don't. I don't care what cities, towns, or states you guys are from or originally from, I want all of you to remember this. The rest of the time you have here at your school, and it's not just you guys as students, it's everybody. Teachers, students, principal, athletic director, all the way on up. And for some of you, it's not that much longer. Seniors, trust me, just like this, it's over. It's gone. You never come back. Enjoy every single second you have left in these hallways, you guys. Cherish every moment and make new memories every day. For the rest of the time you are in this building, you should respect each and every single person in it. Here's the really funny part of what I'm going to say to all of you guys. I really don't care if you like each other or not. I don't care if you know each other or not. But you should respect everybody in this school for this one reason and one reason only. There's a reason why when I drove up here earlier this morning, I said to myself, man, Mount Rose, Michigan, never been there before. So what territory am I about to enter into today? I can go a bunch of different territories all over our country and the state, but never Mount Rose. What territory am I going to enter into this morning? I, what is it? Brandon. Mount Rose. Mount Say it again. Mount Rose. So I was right. Okay, just make sure. So, I pulled up to the front of the building this morning, and I saw it right outside your stadium. I said, yep, there it is. Respect the territory, because if you don't respect it, you're going to look bad. I walked into the building, saw it all over the place. I walked by the gym, it was all over your gym. And I walked into this room, and then you guys walked in. And some of you wore this on t-shirts and sweatshirts this morning. Some of you guys and gals that are athletes here at your school, you get to wear this on the front of your jerseys with pride on and off the field. In case you haven't figured out what I'm talking about right now, let me proudly say loud and proud to each of you, the Montrose Rams, because that's who you are, you guys. You guys get to be a part of something special in our entire state nobody will ever be a part of. You are a part of the Montrose Rams family. The key word there, family. That's why you should respect everybody here, because guess what? You're part of the same group. You're on the same team. You are part of the Rams family for life. That's never going to change. You get to bleed the school colors forever and ever. Me, I'm never going to get the honor or the privilege to be a part of this with you. I'm not going to get that. But you know, I got all the families I'm a part of for the rest of my life. I'm an Oklahoma Chieftain for life. I get to bleed maroon and white every single day for the rest of my life. I'm an Oklahoma Chieftain. I'm a Michigan State Spartan for life. And I get to bleed green and white every single day for the rest of my life. And this is the number one thing I love about Michigan State more than anything. There's over 50,000 students that go there. And you know some of those 50,000 students, they know each other, don't know each other, like each other, don't like each other? One thing in common, though, Spartans. Because that's 50,000 Spartans standing strong, standing united each and every single day. That's what Michigan State needs to meet. A lot of other people that currently go there that went there is a family. That's exactly what I'm standing right in front of here this morning. Because if you look around you guys, this right here is an honor and a privilege for you to be a part of in your life. Because this right here is an opportunity that's never given to you in your life. you got to earn a way to be part of the Rams family. And you all have done it so far. And you're going to earn it even more and more and more to the day you walk out of here and graduate from this great high school of yours. Do not disrespect the right, honor, and privilege to be a part of one of the state's greatest families, maybe the country's. 
You are a ram for life. That's not going to change. But some of you have to honor that. Some of you have to cherish it. And more importantly, you all should take pride in it every day. Ramps for life, never going to change. But speaking of change, you want change in your building. You want change in your town, your community. You want change in our state, our country, our society. You guys want change in your life? That change is not going to start with me. It's not going to start with your teachers, because it has to start with you. Because you changed somebody's day. You changed somebody's life, and this last one I promise to guarantee forever, you guys will be the number one reason why you saved somebody's life. Bill McCoy High School, I'll promise you all that. I'll even guarantee you all that. You know something else, Rams? Each and every single one of you here, each and every single one of you here, you all can believe that. Thank you guys for having me. Have a great rest of your day. Keep following. I don't know if you should have hours people. Stop, don't stop. Students, you will report to your second hour. We're going to go to second hour, so that's why we have. Okay, we're done.